Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Motorola Razr HD. Now I've been running this for about a week or so now, been very, very pleased with it. It hasn't got a quad core processor, it's got a dual core processor, but day-to-day -day tasks, running applications, Twitter, email, web browsing, taking photos, etc., playing the occasional game, have all worked really well for me. But I do know that some of you like to see your numbers, so I'm gonna run a benchmark for you and see how this stacks up against the other smartphones that are available. So while this is running, I'll just let you know that I have been playing the occasional game on here. Works very, very well. Emails, web browsing, all absolutely fantastic. The camera is brilliant as well. Probably the standout feature on this is the battery. Now that's thanks to the dual core processor in combination with a very high rated battery, means that you're gonna get easily a day and a half from a single charge on the Razer HD. Sometimes almost two days and that's not at the detriment to actual performance. Okay, it's not a quad-core processor, it's not gonna be as fast as something like a Samsung Galaxy S3, but it still performs very well indeed. And you can see here on this graphic intensive test, it's still peaking at around about 60 frames per second. Yes, it does drop down to 40 sometimes, but you will hardly see any sort of glitches when you're playing games. I've found it absolutely fine. Now this benchmark is coming towards a close now, so we're gonna be able to actually give you the results. And whatever the results are, I'm not a number watcher on smartphones now, I just tend to see how they feel in the actual hand and, and how they feel in day-to-day -day use, and this is absolutely fine. But let's see the results anyway. So we have got here the HTC One X at the top, and then we've got the Transformer Prime, and then we've got your device here with a benchmark score of 3948. So a respectable score, not the best, but still, it still comes in above a lot of these other mobile phones and tablets here. And then we can look at the individual scores, total 3948, CPU 5316, memory 8536, very good score there, IO 3267, 2D 467, and a 3D score, very good, 2153. So there we go. This is the Motorola Razr HD. I think that is a very good performance. And as I say, in day-to-day -day use, it works absolutely flawlessly. So thanks very much for watching. Thank you also for hitting like on this video, and I will see you all in the next one.